Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning the example of deterministic finite automata which is DFA. So here construct DFA of language with all strings which contain A over sigma equal to A comma B. Here important thing is string which contain A that means those string inside A is coming, we have to take those string and for that language we have to construct the DFA and the input alphabet given is A comma B. So first of all we are taking the alphabet which is sigma equal to A comma B. Here A and B are symbols and sigma is alphabet. Alphabet is set of symbols which is given to us. The meaning is that from A and B we are going to generate the strings and these string will contain A. Now we are going to generate the language. Let us suppose that we are having L. Here L signify language and the language is set of all string which contain a that is equal to the set. So we are taking the string which contain A just like A. This is having A 2 times A. This is also having A 3 times A. This is also having A 4 times A, 5 times A, so on. Then AB this also contain A. B A this also contain A then B A B A this is also having A or A B A B this is also having A and so on. There are infinite string possible in this language. Now we are going to construct the DFA that means deterministic finite automata for this language. We are going step by step. The first step is we should be having the initial state. Every DFA start with the initial state. So here it is represented by a circle and there we are having the incoming arrow. So this is the initial state. Next thing is from the language we are going to pick that string which is the minimum length. So here out of all these string we are having single A. This is the minimum length string. So for that we are going to start with the DFA. Then afterward we are going to modify until the complete DFA is designed. So here I am assuming that our initial state name is Q0. So this is the initial state. And for the minimum length string, we know that DFA change its state every time we give them the input. So let's assume this A is coming at the state Q0. So we are on the Q0, A is coming. Here the DFA is going to change the state. We know that whenever we traverse the complete string, and afterward, if it is the part of language, DFA should accept it. That means this A should be accepted. So our next state will be the final state. Because when A is coming, we should accept it. So here the next state is final state which is represented by double circle. So this is the final state. Now I am giving the name of this final state is Q1. So here we can see that A is part of the language because it is containing A. So for A when we are on initial state A is coming we are on the final state. That means this A is accepted by the DFA. So till there a simple skeleton of DFA is created. Now we are checking is our DFA complete. DFA will complete when all the states 
are going to address the inputs which means a and b so for state q not we should address a and b that means if a is coming we are going on q1 but if b will come there is no move available that means this is not complete also at q1 if a and b will come there is no move available so here dfa is not complete we are moving further to complete this dfa we are keep on taking the other string so here i am taking the next string which is aa so let us suppose that first a is coming we start with the initial state a come we are on to the q1 now afterward again a is coming we know that a and a this is the part of language and this should be accepted means after 2a the automata should accept this string so here one more time if a is coming then we should be on the final state so here i am creating a self loop the meaning is that if a is coming further we are coming back to the final state so here we can see that for first a from q0 to q1 for second a again q1 to q1 this is self loop so this is the final state so after processing the complete string dfa is on the final state so this is accepted in the similar way let us suppose we are having three times a so for first a from q0 to q1 then for second a self loop again from q1 back to q1 for third a again back to q1 we are on the final state that means after processing 3a we are on the final state so this string is also accepted by the dfa in the similar manner if four times a five times a is coming we are on the final state and all the string with a will be accepted now this dfa is not yet complete because for initial state move for b is not available and on the q1 move for b is not available so we are moving further we are checking another string let's say a is coming so from the initial state q0 a is coming we are going to q1 then afterward let's say b come so there is important thing to understand here string which contain a once we already get the a now b come or a come doesn't matter so that means for the next b we should be on the final state so here this b i am marking here the meaning is that if b is coming we should be coming back to the final state so here check if a is coming then from q0 to q1 then afterward b is coming we are coming back to the final state so this string is accepted by the dfa here the idea is once we get the a in the string then afterward a or b come so that's why we have given the self loop now check is our dfa complete for q1 we have the move for a and b and for q0 we have the move for a the b is pending so this dfa is not yet complete we are moving further we are taking another string let us suppose that b is coming now at q0 when b will come so here where should go we are going to check all the possibilities one by one we may put the b here but let's check is it correct so for that i am taking one example let's say there is a string which is b we know that this b is not the part of language because this b is not having a so this should not be accepted by the dfa so check this if b is coming we are on q0 and 
for B, we are on Q1. Means this B will be accepted by this DFA, which is totally wrong. So B cannot be there. We should try some other option. There is one more possibility that when we are on Q0 and if B is coming, then we should move to the dead state. Means we are not going to accept this B. And this dead state will for sure be having the self loop. That means for coming A and B, we are keep on B on the dead state. So if B is coming, dead means that string will not be accepted. But this is wrong because there are various string where we are having start with B and they are also the part of language. Just like B A, it is starting with B but it contain A. So this should be accepted. Again B A B A, it is starting with B but it is also containing A. So this should be accepted. So these two string we are ignoring here. So this is again not the option. So this is wrong. We should try some other thing. There is one more possibility that we are on Q0 and if B is coming, then there is a self loop. That means we are coming back to the same state. Now we are checking. So let us suppose that B is coming. So here we are on Q0, B is coming, we are coming back to Q0. This is not the final state. This means this B will not be accepted. So this is true because this B is not the part of language. So it should be rejected. DFA is going right. Let's check another string. So here if B is coming, so from Q0, we are coming back to Q0 and here if A is coming then we are moving from Q0 to Q1. This is the final state. So this string is accepted. So this DFA is working properly for the string. Now we are checking is DFA is complete? DFA is complete if all the state are addressing the inputs. So here inputs are A and B. So on Q0 state, if A come, we are going to Q1. If B come, we are coming back to Q0. That means this state is complete. Now on this Q1, if A comes, we are coming back to Q1. If B comes, we are coming back to Q1. So Q1 is also complete. So all the states are complete. Miss this DFA is created. We may check few more strings just like if B is coming so from Q0 B comes we are coming back to Q0 then A is coming so from Q0 we are on the Q1 then B is coming from Q1 for B we are coming back to Q1 for A again from Q1 we are coming back to Q1 so here we are on the final state this is also accepted. Let's say I am taking one example which is not the part of language. Let's say it is BB. This BB is not having A. That means this is not the part of language. So this should be rejected by this DFA. So now we are checking. Let's say B is coming. So from Q0 when B is coming we are coming back to Q0. Now the next B is coming. So again from Q0, when B is coming, we are coming back to Q0. This is not the final state means when complete string is scanned, then afterward we are on to the state which is not a final state. That means this string is rejected. Let's check for one more string. Let's say A is coming. So from Q0, we are coming to Q1. Then B is coming. So here from Q1 for B, we are coming back to Q1. For A, from Q1 coming back to Q1. For B, again from Q1, we are coming back to Q1. Here we are on to the final state. 
So once this complete string is scanned, we are on to the final state. That means this is accepted by the DFA. So here we have designed the DFA, which accept string, which contain A. So that's all for today. Thank you.